Okay, look, uh, I'm going to take a little, I'm doing a transition. The next series I'm going to do is um, called, that started already, it's called uh, Talking from the Townships. But before I get to that, just dealing with the, with the United States for a bit, we're in primary season right now. Let me just explain primary season to you. Uh, before the actual primary start, this year they started in uh, January with Iowa and you know, New Hampshire, whatever have you. But before that, we might have up to almost a year or before where you people jockey and who's going to, whatever they're going to do, okay? So people don't know, but they don't pay much attention, but then that happens. So that's one part of the, let's say, pre-primary season. Then you have the actual votings in the caucuses, which last until the convention, which is what we're sort of in now. And then you have the actual election season with whoever's going to happen. And that's between after the convention stop, uh, say about uh, July until November. So you have like three months, whatever it is to deal with it. Now, even in the primary season, you have, because of the, let's take the Democratic Party. Well, both parties, both the major parties, you have the other uh, other parties, there's other parties going on, but let's leave them out for right now. Even in that, in that season, in this season, you have a situation where you have uh, you, you have, well, basically the first party, you have a, a lot of southern states vote, and then you have these other kind of states vote. So that's almost like broken into two two things right now. Okay. I'm railing against uh, a certain, uh, um, my peoples, let's call it my peoples. My peoples include what I call the, uh, the consciousness community. Uh, um, uh, I've been involved with struggles since, I don't know, uh, 1960, I guess officially 1963, but let's say 1967, somewhere around there. And what amazes me, uh, the consciousness people, they we never, or they never, uh, I'm going to include myself, we never have a strategy and tactics. Strategy and tactics. And that's what's happening now. Now we have an interesting situation where you have a lot of uh, consciousness people, I'm just dealing with the conscious people right now, who refuse, they say, oh, I'm not going to vote for anybody. I'm not going to be, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pops on everybody's houses, which is fine. I have no problem with that, in fact. But see, that the time that that comes is between the end of the primaries and the whole elected general election. In other words, let's say from the end of July until November. That's when you can say, okay, I'm not voting for anybody, this thing doesn't. But right now, you have an opportunity, or we have an opportunity, um, just like um, those those nice southern boys have an opportunity to uh, to go under the Trump banner and organize under that. Whether, whether Trump likes them or not, doesn't matter, they organize under that. We have an opportunity to organize under, let's call it the burn movement banner. And the, the interesting thing about it, if you organize under, you don't have to go all the way, but under this uh, this last bit of primary, so you under, organize under, then you'll, you'll meet other people that's of your same ilk. You'll, you'll, you'll have experience in organizing and dealing with real people rather than your circle, you know, just the consciousness community. And also, you have a chance to knock out one of the worst neocons that ever come down the pike. I'm talking about Hillary Clinton, okay? This is the person, remember, she's done bad things about Haiti, done bad about, about Honduras. Why don't we start with, uh, with, 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 um, with Libya and, and, and that whole thing, but also Africa, the whole, the whole militarization of Africa, which happened under the Obama administration, which Hillary Clinton is a part of. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is you have, we have an, a, a chance to knock that neocon out, and then you can deal with a, a Bernie Sanders who you might not like or whatever, but then you can deal with him. But if you're trying to deal with a, with a, with a neocon, with, with a chicken hawk, with a warmonger like Hillary Clinton, you're in serious trouble because if she makes it through, you're not going to be able to move her any place. She betrays everything she does anyway. So there is the problem. You may be able to, to nudge a, a, a Bernie Sanders, but you will not be able to uh, nudge a Hillary Clinton who's, in, who's, who's a bankster. Who, oh, look, I won't call her any more names. You understand what I'm saying? So the biggest problem I have right now is all these so-called conscious people, all these people, oh, blah, 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 they're throwing, they're, they're, they're running against Trump or whoever right now without even dealing with the reality of, you're supposed to be organizing for, for the general election. That's what you're supposed to be doing right now and, and put somebody in place for the general election. Again, if you don't want to be a Democrat, Republican, whatever happened to the general election, then go to your third party. I'm, I'm into the socialist, uh, the, the party for socialism and, and liberation. So that'll be my third party, you know, come general election. But right now, hey, I send money to the burn man, whatever happened, because I need to knock that Clinton out. That's a strategy, that's a tactic, and I challenge any conscious p person who, who keeps on saying we need a third party, whatever, we to, to deal with it now. You have an opportunity to organize now. Organize. Stop complaining. Stop talking about, you know, you're not going to vote for anybody. That comes
comes later. Right now, you should be organizing. You should be working. You should be working getting rid of the person that caused you your movement so much angst and anguish right now. That's it. That's all I got to say. This is T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.